And we're here at uh, EAA AeroVenture on Tuesday, the 23rd of July, 2019, with, uh, with Ken Bright, Senior Director of Marketing for Airbus Americas. Thanks for joining us, Ken. Thanks, Ernie. Uh, Airbus introduced the A321 XLR to uh, rave reviews in, in Paris. Can you talk a little bit about the, the top end of the narrow body market and uh, where you see things are going, and in particular that airplane? Sure. Well, the, the 321 XLR brings something very specific to, to the narrow body range, and that, that is specifically long range for, for what we refer to as long, thin routes. So uh, the range of a 321 XLR is in, in the area of about 4,500 nautical miles. Which is, which is ample range to get from the US East Coast well into uh, the middle of Europe. So it's, it's an aircraft that has particular value to airlines that would like to serve secondary and tertiary cities, but in the past they've been unable to because to get that kind of range required a, a much larger aircraft. So the airlines are seeing a, a great deal of value in this airplane. Uh, to use an example, American Airlines has just recently committed to 50 XLRs, and uh, they could conceivably use the aircraft to fly someplace like one of their hubs on the, uh, the East Coast into a, a city that's, that's near and dear to our heart, which would be Toulouse. Uh, Toulouse doesn't have any transatlantic service year-round right now, so that would be an ideal market, and that's, that's just one of, of potentially hundreds of, of markets of similar length that, that could be of value to airlines. So what we're seeing is that now that some major blue chip airlines have, uh, have committed, American Airlines being a perfect example, JetBlue as well, uh, we're, seeing, uh, we're seeing tremendous interest from their US competitors and airlines around the world, quite frankly, that, that have need of that extra range for the longer, thin routes. Do you see this as uh, an airplane that will have success in long, thin routes for other other parts of the world, Latin America, Europe to Africa, other uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. In, uh, if you look at uh, markets, say from Europe to Latin America, uh, say from uh, Spain to Brazil, it's, it's a perfect aircraft. Whether you're looking at Japan to Australia, uh, the, the, this is a, an aircraft that anytime you can connect two city pairs that are within 4,500 nautical miles, uh, you've got a logical market. Uh, about, a, about a year ago, Airbus acquired the C-Series program from Bombardier, uh, relaunched it as the A220, and it's been doing phenomenally well in the marketplace. Can you give us uh, your opinion on the, on the airplane and its future and where you see it going? Yes, certainly. So much like the uh, 321 XLR is fulfilling a niche for the, the airline industry, the A220 is doing the same is filling out the, the bottom end of Airbus's product uh, product portfolio. So, as you alluded to, the aircraft came to us from Bombardier, formerly the, the CS aircraft, the C-Series. It's now known as the A220-100, which is the smaller version of the A220-300, slightly larger. Now, this perfectly fits the, the area just below our 320 family, and offers also, much like the XLR does, advantage of range. Both aircraft uh, approximately 3,000 nautical miles, so easily transcontinental across the U.S. Now, in terms of customers, so far we've had feedback from Delta that is operating the aircraft. They've had rave reviews from their customers. Consequently, they're very happy with the aircraft. Uh, we have other airlines that are lined up to take the aircraft in North America in the near future. We've got uh, Air Canada will be getting their aircraft later in this year. JetBlue and a uh, startup called Moxie, all going to be uh, sizable, uh, sizable customers for the aircraft. Now, what this is doing is, is, is creating a critical mass. I think the other airline, the rest of the airline industry, has seen the success of this aircraft, and uh, I think there are very, uh, very good prospects for the aircraft going forward. It just fits the perfect niche. Uh, range-wise, capacity-wise, and, and economics, and that's really the, the selling point of airlines, is having an aircraft that, that is so uh, cost-efficient. Great. Thank you very much for being with us. You're welcome.